Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, you know how often I say a positive attitude, say in our daily affirmations and all these other positive things, they can cure our health. I love it when I can come on here and I show my brain scans where it shows that I had a brain tumor, right? Because I've done that previously in other videos. I don't have a brain tumor anymore. I love that I tell people I've got a broken neck and I've cured it. I walk every day. I'm not a quadriplegic, even though in C2 and C3, C2 and C3 in my neck are not connected. I love it when I've now told people I've now got this lump in my throat, but it's not going to affect me. I'm going to cure this just like everything else I've ever cured because we can physically heal ourselves just by thinking it. The higher we put our vibration, the more we tell ourselves our I am's, etc. This stuff works. Today, I've got more proof that this happens. Okay. I was talking to a lovely person in America. I live in Australia, right? So this person, they don't want me to say who they are, but they are the initial A, first letter of the alphabet, initial A. So A, hello, because I know you're going to watch this because I asked you permission, and this person said, yes, you can have all my information, which I've written down notes, okay? So let's go through some of the things that has happened to A in the past six months. First off, the first thing we look at when someone's getting healthy is their weight. So A from America wants us to know they have dropped 50 pounds in the past six months. So that equates to 22 and a half kilos this person has just lost. Okay, They were diabetic six months ago, but their um, AIC level, A1C level, I should say, has now dropped to the point where the doctors are saying your diabetes is going away. Now, six months ago, this person, and this is true, this person this morning, they sent me emails of all their blood stuff. You know when you do a blood sample and they come back with all the, um, you've got this level of that, this level of that, there's you, that level, that, that. It, they showed me all that this morning, okay? So, this person six months ago had third stage right kidney, uh, sorry, third stage kidney failure, and they also had congestive right side heart failure recognized in an EKG. Holy shit. So now, ha ha ha, the doctor has just said, because they've just had their bloods and their scans done again, your kidneys and liver are far better than last time they got checked. And the doctor actually said, are you taking your cholesterol pills? This person said, no, I've stopped taking them. And the doctor said their cholesterol is nearly back to normal range. So how does this stuff work? It's a 46-year-old person, okay? They had congestive heart failure, kidney trouble, diabetes, obesity, and all these other things wrong with them. But now, six months later, this person said all they've done is every day this person says, they look at themselves in the mirror and they say, I am healthy, I am strong. Now, six months ago, this person also had a rash on their face that covered 75% of their face. So that's three quarters of their face had this red rash all over it. That rash is now totally gone as well. Where did that go and how did that get cured when all this person saying to themselves is, I am healthy and I am strong? How does this stuff work? So this person said to me this morning, they flipped the script and now thinking positively. There's one rule this person obeys. 
And when they have one negative thought, they switch that switch back and make three positive thoughts in its place. So, finally, one thing that they are doing, they're now off coffee. They're not having any more coffee. And I'll tell you what they drink. They drink milk thistle tea, dandelion root teas, licorice tea, which is a detox, no more caffeine, and also flaxseed, a tablespoon of that in yogurt. Could all those things with the milk thistle, dandelion root, licorice and flaxseed, could that possibly get rid of diabetes, third stage kidney failure, congestive heart failure, and all these other things going on with this person? I doubt it. Because the big thing that this person is doing, one, they're watching my channel, and two, she's this, well, it is a she, okay, I will go there. It's a 40, look, I've even got it here, 46-year-old female. I feel like I'm in my 30s. That's the quote they told me this morning. I feel like I'm back in my 30s. This just makes me want to go, boom! Because... We can heal ourselves just by thinking about it. Here's the proof. Look at all the notes. You can look, I'll even put the notes up so you can read the notes. A from America. Okay, I was talking to him this morning on Facebook video call. Because they said, hey, can we please talk? And I said, yeah, I'm actually free now because they're online. So we started a, a voice, you know, we can see each other on FaceTime, on, on um, Facebook Messenger. So we were doing that this morning. Lovely to see you, by the way, eh? Thank you so much. I actually said to this female, this girl, I said to her, well, she's 46. She's, like, she's still a girl, right? Because that's our mentality, right? Our mentality does this stuff. I said to her this morning, do you mind if I do a video and tell people, because it's all right for me to sit here and say, oh, yes, I've cured my brain tumor. I've cured my broken neck. I've cured this thing in my lump, in my throat. I've done all this other stuff that I work on. But when I tell you about it, and you get those results, I want to know, not because it gives me a power boost or an ego boost or it makes me feel blah or whatever, but it proves that all this stuff works. How do you cure cognitive heart failure? Just by thinking positively and saying, I am healthy. Because it's common known fact now, science says we replace every cell within our body every so often. I think it's every six months. Every cell in our body dies and it regenerates new ones. So that means every six months, all this stuff wrong with us gets replaced. But it's only because we tell ourselves that we've got it that it keeps on coming back. So that means... Things like leukemias, cancers, diabetes, cognitive heart failures, liver failures, kidney failures, and all these brain tumors, all these other things that we get, we only keep having them after six months because we keep telling ourselves we've got it. So stop telling yourself you've got it. The more we tell ourselves, oh, I'm sad today, the more we're going to be sad today. The more we say, oh, I've got to go to the doctor, I'm sick. Oh, I don't even say that word. I don't want to say the word because the more I say I am healthy and the more I'm saying I am getting better, how do you feel today? I don't say I'm S-I-C-K. I'll say, oh, I'm getting better because the more we say I want to be a better person, the more this is coming into our life and the more... Our DNA structure of our cellular network, it makes it happen. So stop being a victim, guys. If you're sick and you're out there and you say, oh, I can't go to the shops today, I don't feel good. You know, most people only do that so then they get sympathy from others. 
Think about it, okay? Most people who I've known that are like the hypochondriac types, they do it to get sympathy. I'm not saying everybody does it, okay? So don't blame me if, if you're sitting there thinking, no, I'm not, I'm a strong person, I love you watching you, Linda. That's great. But at the end of the day, there are a lot of people out there who love using their illnesses, sicknesses, diseases, or whatever else, because then they can get all that sympathy from other people coming into them and saying, oh, I feel so sorry for you. Oh, I love you. Here you go, give me a hug. Because these people don't know how to generate all that love and support within themselves. And this is true. This woman who had all this stuff happen to her six months ago, she was in a bad place six months ago. Because I said to her this morning, I said, where were you six months ago? She said, oh, I was in a bad relationship. I was doing this, I was doing that. And I was blaming this person and blaming that stuff. And I said to her this morning, I said, mate, why did it change? She said, well, one year I've been watching you. Because now I'm learning, I can stand up and be my own person. But as soon as I realise to take my own accountability, if I want to be happy today, don't rely on your partner, your kids, your dog, or your co-workers, your neighbours, or anyone else to rely on them to make you happy. The only person who can make you happy is you. The only person who can make you feel loved, appreciated, respected, treasured, and adored is you because as soon as you accomplish making yourself feel great then these people come into your life they don't need to add that to you they are adding value to you what you already have mate i can't tell you today how happy i am for a in america to come on and want to talk to me and say, I just want to tell you, for the past six months while I've been watching your channel, I've been starting to do the stuff that you talk about, and this is the results that I'm seeing. And this is the results of where the doctors are now gobsmacked, saying, how did this work? I can tell you how it worked. <laughs> and it's all here. It's all here, where we think, because as soon as we say to ourselves, you know what, I'm not going to rely on that person to make me feel happy, I'm going to create that within myself today, I'm not going to rely on that doctor to give me some chemical based freaking pills, I'm going to do a natural, which, ha, why is it called alternative medicine in the first place? I'm going to rely on getting rid of all these chemicals going into my body and I'm going to start being what I want to be. I'm going to start talking my talk of what I want to talk about. I don't want to grudge anymore. I don't want to have issues. I don't want to rely on other people to make me feel happy and loved. I don't want to be someone who's taking chemicals every day on all these prescription medications. I want to be a person who stands in her own authority, strong, loving, supportive person. Wow! A from America, you're doing life right, darling. Because I reckon six months ago, you have probably had about two years of your life left. Now you've got 20. <laughs> Look at the difference. 2 to 20. I am so impressed with you, A from America. I can't tell you. I want to hug you so much. You're here on the earth and I'm over here, but today I'm feeling over to you in America and I am sending you that love because the more we do this within ourselves, the more it pulses out of us as a vibrational, energetic frequency, and the more it attaches to other people around us. So the more you gossip, the more you have grudges, the more you have issues and get offended by everybody, you're pushing that out onto everybody else. So you're creating that with all your people around you. Have a look at all your people around you. Do they gossip? 
Do they all say, oh, geez, I can't get by unless I've got a man or a woman to help me because I can't str I can't, I can't do anything for myself. I'm a victim. Are they sitting there having all these grudges and being offended? Oh, hey, why did that guy do that for? I would never do that. And then you look at yourself and you say, my God, I'm mirroring my friends. My friends are only a reflection of what I personally am doing. I look at my personal friends. I've got a, I, one of my friends, Sally. Hello, Sally, if you watch this, because you probably will. But Sally's in her late 60s. She drives, oh, my God, 300 kilometres a day. <laughs> she's got nothing wrong with her and takes no medication at all, even though she's in her late 60s. Like, I'm in my late 50s, and I only take one pill a day for heartburn. But, oh, my God, my friend Sally, she takes a cake because she does not take one pill. She's 60-something years old. So I think she's 68 years old. And look at what she does every day, looking after all these other people. Because the first thing if I said to Sally, how do you feel today? She would say, I feel great. I say, how old do you feel? She says, oh, my God, I'm in my 30s. Oh! Isn't that funny? Because that's what A of America just told me today. I feel like I'm in my 30s. <laughs> so look at yourself, guys, because that's why I'm here. You know, my email's below in the description. Email me. My contacts are all there in the email in my description below. There's no reason why you can't change your tribe and say, you know what, I don't want to be around negative people anymore. I want to start getting away from that toxicity that made me so sick. Because with this person, A from America, if they can do this in six months, imagine what you yourself can accomplish if you just start thinking about it. Talk to you all soon. Bye.